Hey everyone, what's up, what's new, what's going on? Welcome to the 2013 Ryzen Open Mixed Doubles Finals this time. And for those of you who did not check out the earlier videos from the 2013 Ryzen Open, definitely check them out because, well, especially that men's doubles final, that was just an epic matchup between four extremely good players. And now we kind of have like an extension of that because we have, once again, on the near side of the guard, yeah, hey, on the near side of the court, Nikki Ong, who uh, I featured in the past a few times before, the two-time Myanmar national champion and the champion of many other tournaments. Anyway, hailing from Myanmar and now moving to Canada and showing us all how to play badminton is Nikki Ong and his partner is going to be Vivian Kwok. Uh, I haven't featured her in the past before but she's definitely a very good player. Uh, currently playing in the under 19 national circuits and also did fairly well in the college and university national tournaments uh, this year as well. Um, so doing pretty well, um, definitely a national player, but haven't seen her with too many uh, tournament winnings this year. So we're gonna see whether, they can, uh, whether she can use um, the strength of Nikki Ong to kind of uh, push her into the winner's circle of this Ryzen Open, Ryzen Li Ning Open, if I want to be correct on that, uh, just because Li Ning sponsors this tournament this year. And on the fierce ar far side of the court, we have Jason Hoshu and Michelle Tong, both of these players extremely good, and this time they're the number two seeds going into this matchup and going into this tournament. Um, just because Nikki Ong is just so good, uh, he's pretty much guaranteed a number one seed wherever he goes anyway. Uh, except for the really big national and international tournaments, he's going to be number one seed. Anyway, Jason Hoshu and Michelle Tong, I've definitely featured both of these players in the past, um, in, in past tournaments. And both of these players are just so good. And I looked up uh, their tournament standings this year. This year in their in all their national junior national tournaments they've never lost a single set so not only have they won every single match they've played in the junior nationals this year in the under 16 age category mind you both of these players in on the far side of the court are under 16. they haven't lost a single set this entire year so undefeated this year haven't lost a single set and definitely two players to look out for. And um, it's just gonna, gonna be a very interesting matchup between these two teams right now because on the near side, we have the number one seed with one extremely strong player, Nikki Ong, and a very strong national player, Vivian Kwok, who haven't had that much tournament experience playing together as a mixed doubles partnership versus two juniors who have been having a lot of success at the junior level and uh, even in the open level they, they've been uh, doing pretty well last I remember they were finalists in the Ontario A championships which are the provincial championships for those of you who don't know what Ontario is um, but anyway Jason Oshu and Michelle Tang doing very well in the junior nationals and doing um, quite well in the open category as well and the advantage that they're gonna have coming into this matchup is that these two players have so much experience playing together they know each other's shots they know where uh where to cover whenever uh i guess one or the other is in trouble and they probably have their own sets of plays that they really like when whenever they're scrambling or whenever they want to set uh their their players up so that's their that's going to be the advantage that they have and we're going to see whether they can make use of that once again we see nikki just punishing any loose shots that come over the net uh, winning that last shot outright, uh, just yeah, <laughs> you don't even know uh, what what. Well, I don't even know what else to say to that. That was just an easy, easy point for him, and well, he made it look easy, even though it was a very good defensive shot by Michelle Tong. And so far, it looks like uh, Nikki Young and Vivian Kwok are pressing on their number one author or their number one seed, and using that number one seed to really kind of uh, push a very very strong impression or early impression so far in this matchup because they're just absolutely dominating on in, in the scoreboard right now not only on the scoreboard but in every single rally every single time Nikki is able to get that uh, get his racket to the to the shuttle he's been able to finish the points outright and you can see him going for the power plays even though he hit that last shot out 
he's saying that, you know what, if you're going to hit any loose shots up at the net, I'm going to be able to cover and s smash it right down at you. And that's the name of the game so far. And so far, Jason Hoshu and Michelle Tong don't really have an answer to that. You can see Jason Hoshu is already changing up his uh, strategy a little bit, not going for the lift anymore, making uh, Vivian Kwok uh, do all the work because, well, <laughs> with <laughs> with the shots like that coming from Nikki Ong, just that pinging it off of Michelle's head on that last shot. Of course, immediately apologizing right afterwards because, well, this is still... Even though this is a tournament finals, it's still a pretty friendly game. Badminton is usually a pretty friendly game unless you're playing in the 2013 Canadian Open where... Well, if you haven't seen the, the brawl that happened during the finals of the 2013 uh, Canadian Open, definitely check it out online because I'm pretty sure it's gone viral by now. Anyway, back to this game as uh, Michelle Tong is doing a pretty good with her, uh, pretty good job with her serve. Uh, kind of scoring herself an ace on that last shot. I don't know what Vivian was thinking uh, leaving that last uh, serve in. But once again, the name of the game is Nikki Oh, Just smashing everything down. And as we saw before and as I've mentioned before, in the, at least in the men's doubles, Every time Nikki Young is able to get the smash, uh, or is is given the opportunity to smash, he usually finishes off the point right there and then. There's no, oh, I'm going to set it up for my partner. It's just going to be, well, I'm just going to smash it as hard as I can because I know it's going to work. And usually the shadow never comes back over the court again. So <laughs> definitely a very easy strategy to use if you've got a big smash like Nikki. But... Um, Jason Oshu and Michelle Tong slowly inching their way back in the scoreline. They were down by, I think, uh, six at one point, and now kind of inching back slowly but surely. Now doing the reverse mix doubles as, oh. Well, Michelle leaving that last shot out, but with the great defense of Vivian Kwok, just being able to defensively lob that last shot over and have it hit the line. The scoreline is now, once again, a 5-point difference at 16-11 with Vivian serving. Once again, oh my god, Vivian Kwok with an amazing defense. So, she's so far paying two shots, or two defensive shots at the baseline. So, great accuracy by, by Vivian to, uh, to be able to get so many shots onto the line, but uh, once again, Nikki Ong just uh, punishing every shot that comes over the net, but this time wasn't able to execute. I mean, he, he's able to execute those shots at pretty much 99 out of 100 times, but every once in a while, you're going to see him miss a, a, a couple, and that's that's normal. But I don't think they have to be too worried right now with the scoreline of 13-17 with uh, Jason serving. You can see both Jason and uh, Jason and Michelle are still not uh, lifting to Nikki, which is a really good strategy if you ask me. And uh, we're gonna see how how this affects the the name of the game or or the scoreline so far. And once again, Nikki uh, missing another one, so missing a couple really easy net kills um, so far in the past few minutes. Maybe he's just relaxing a little bit too much, knowing that he's kind of in control of the scoreline so far. But with Jason Hoshu showing us that, that he can keep up with all the shots that are coming down uh, onto his side of the court, narrows the gap once again to three points, serving at 15 18. Oh, great get by Vivian Kwok to, to get that last shot over the net, but alas, it was not to be. With, now with, um, I guess there is some sort of a scoring error going on. Uh, of course, they don't have the luxury of a scoreboard, so right now, I think both both of the teams are serving at the wrong side of the court, so I don't really know what they think the scoreline is, but right now, the scoreline is 17-18. Uh, with Michelle ser uh, serving on the right side, but uh, we're not going to worry too much about that. And now 18 all in the really late stages, the critical stages of this first set. Jason Hoshu and Michelle Tong have fi finally found a way to tie it up after being down by as much as six points earlier on. But Jason Hoshu couldn't get a racket to that, he, despite having to throw that racket to at least try to get uh, get his racket to that last shot. So. 
this is definitely crunch time for both Jason and Michelle. Wow, a great deceptive drop shot to finish off the first set at 2018. <laughs> I didn't expect that to finish so quickly. But anyway, on to the second set. 